Welcome, agents. Today on the Agent Academy podcast, we'll be talking about bringing in a new year without the global community manager, Andrew Krug. We'll also be talking about the tessellation and other events, as well as the latest first Saturday and how I ended up going way up north about six and a half hours to see Dewey J and much, much more. So stay tuned. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 71, recorded on January 9th, 2020. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. I'm Agent Dewey J. And I'm Agent Vane. Oh my god, there's a bunch of animals. I don't have one. Wait, maybe I do. <laughs> that's not an animal, that's a frog. <laughs> It's a nerd. <laughs> it's it is a nerd. A frog. It's almost a yeah. frog. That looks. It's it's green. I'll put it up there. Well, we got yeah. a lot of stuff to get to. Uh, why don't we start with uh, what we've been up to? And I already talked about it a little bit in, in the intro, the which y'all didn't hear. So, um, <laughs> I went up to Effington, Effingham. I keep calling it Effington. Is that something <laughs> else? It's Effington. I think they should change the name. I'll put it up to the cu- the people in charge. Okay, all twenty of them. <laughs> the, so, but I went up there and all I got was this effing pin. See what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Completely stole it. Not a shirt to go with it. Like, <laughs> I almost bought disappointed. it. Disappointed. <laughs> but it was a a first Saturday event and it was a, a lot of fun. Got to see Dewey J in person again. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen you since Chicago, I guess. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a long time. And got to meet a, a lot of great agents up there. Mm-hmm. And then I bolted like immediately afterwards because it was a long oh. trip home. And We're getting I, ready to eat. I'm like, where's where'd he go? It's gone. <laughs> we had to go back home. Like you know, dark XM simulacrums. They take you know, it takes a lot. He was he was afraid somebody was going to put him over. Yeah, and I, I pulled a Kaiser Soze and just. Was gone. He was gone, and I, I had to go see Superman on my way back. You got to stop by Metropolis if you take that route. I mean, it's, it's true. That's true. Got to have some of those keys. keys. And uh, uh, that, uh, that's about it. Besides just um, trying to get AP, trying to get the next level, and I did hit the max for the event, so I should be looking at 500k coming it sometime. Should, yeah. And nice. so I'm trying to get that last 200k before it drops so hopefully it'll drop and level me at the same time just just see what happens be cool be cool i don't know we'll see how about y'all what y'all been up to well i was at the effingham first saturday with dewey or with uh goonie <laughs> true, true story. Actually, i didn't really get i didn't get to see you much you you did he did do the first saturday the correct way he got in his car because it was cold he got in his car and he sat in one spot, and just beat up people. I think and then it he moved. was effing cold. It was effing cold. It was. Um, it was uh, thirty degrees or something like that. But uh, he, I do have to say, he came away with the top frog award. He was the the top AP winner. Um, I think it was because everybody was out to beat him up. Uh, <laughs> it's you got to have that strat ready to go. Have strat. I, and I will also say that he did not beat. The resistance, no. but but she is Gritter is just a phenomenal. I mean, I don't think there's been a first Saturday that she didn't make a million when it was all over and doubled. So she just does that all the time. But yeah, it was a cold one. But we had about twenty five uh, agents show up. Um, we gave out some Nyanic and some Red Solo swag. Um, yes, and uh, thank you, Andrew. Yep, I was gonna say thanks, Goonie, for bringing it up. Thank you for Andrew for dropping it on our doorstep. Well, Goonie's doorstep. And, and that uh, was the real reason, because I, I just hate going to the post office. <laughs> and I was like, it'll just be easier to drive this up there. 
Yeah. He told me he's coming. I'm like, you're freaking kidding me. You're going to drive six hours instead of put something in the mail. Yep. Okay. Well, whatever. But yeah. um, so other than that, um, I've just been hacking on the run to replenish my uh, inventory after first Saturday. Um, and and that's, that's about it. And I do want to say one thing. If I go dark, I'm not pulling a Zelly Belly. It's lightning and thunder here. So... I don't know if you heard that in the background. So that's not like that base. Not that I got ticked off. It's just that I don't have power. <laughs> what about you, Vane? You you went to DC? Yeah, yeah. So I was in uh, Washington DC for their first Saturday, and surprisingly, you know, we were anticipating cold. So it was in Union yeah. Station uh, <laughs> area that you could do pretty much the whole first Saturday event indoors if you wanted to. There's about twenty five, thirty portals in the station. And it was, uh, I think, 62 degrees outside. That sucks. So, you know, our, our picture that got posted online on Reddit, a couple of people were commenting. They're like, uh, saw the short sleeves, and I had to check, like, the location for this because it's January. So, yeah, I overpacked. Uh, I packed nothing but, like, cold weather clothing. And uh, I just so happened to have, like, a T-shirt. So it was, like, enough to, to strip down so, you know, I could deploy those resonators because, you know, it's just hard work sitting there mashing that button yeah and so, I, I was the opposite Saturday. i under packed like so i had to switch from the light hoodie to the heavy hoodie uh and that's all i had and it was oh, no. cold like there were snowflakes in my face i was like what is going on yeah i will say it was snowing when we started that's when you know you're playing some serious ingress though when you start getting like icicle beard you're like uh oh i've been out a little too long yeah or it's when you can't hit your phone because your finger's too dang cold. Oh yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, like, I can't, I can't hack anymore. It doesn't even register my finger. Yep. No, we didn't have that problem in DC. We got, we got a little bit of rain towards the end of our event, but it was pretty good. We had a large turnout. I think somewhere around fifty agents. Uh, everybody seemed to have fun with it. And towards about the last half hour of the event, I decided to on the fly, without really telling a whole lot of people. Uh, ahead of time that I was just going to do a live drop. So I had a little swag bundle made up. I sent out a couple of clues into a Telegram channel that I have set up for, you know, broadcasting stuff out. And I just kind of did like a manhunt. So I told agents, I'm like, get a portal key to this portal, which was the registration portal, and then find me. Well, as I'm typing this all up, I'm looking around. I'm like, okay, where are all the agents? See some people in scanner. I post it. And then I hear, vain, and someone's like running at me already. So I'm like, no, this just started. This can't end this way. So I just I just took off running and started deploying beacons as I was going. Uh, eventually, they did find me, but it was like a minute or two where I'm sure pedestrians looking in on the event were like, what is what is happening right now in Union Station? Terrorist attack. Terrorist attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, per perhaps not the best timing uh, to be running around like lunatics. But it was fun, so do what you got to do. But uh, just a shout out to Enlightened Agent uh, Ask Jarvis and Resistance Agent Viticon, who took part in that drop and managed to find me. They both decided to share the spoils of war on that. Um, yeah, and really, that's like I finished up the Umbra Deploy Challenge since the last time that we had the show. Uh, I kind of just slid in right under the wire there. Uh, managed to get the gold. It's just with all the holidays, things were a little bit busy, and work was killer. But managed to get the gold. Woo! <coughs> we need and, a, a sound for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I do. I do want to mention that if you you look, we there's there's this cartoon character thing down there. I don't know if they see that or not. Good job, Goonie. Oh, on the show. Yeah. Yeah. It's. It's it's us in Ingress anime style. Yep, <laughs> I think it's a new 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 anime style. <laughs> so we'll you'll see it on the thumbnail if you're listening to it. Um, you can go to the website and see it. Of course, it's new stuff. Um, and if you're only five thousand dollars. We can include you. Is that is that what I mean? Six <laughs> sure, we can go for that. Yeah, six grand. We'll 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 bite you in. I might even do it for a lot less, but that sounds like a good number to me. 
Yeah, I know you're always about monetizing. You, you got to do it. You got to do it. Maybe yeah. upgrading the website again. We actually went over our quota for views last month. So when that happens, it's like uh, it, it gets pricier. And so it's better to get the next package than to let them eke out those those views extra. So that's good. That's good. The show's growing. We like that. Big boom. Oh, I heard that. I saw that one coming. You sounded like a fortune teller because you said it before we heard it. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. uh, sorry. Sorry, Dewey J. It's the shapers. You really, those fields, man. Damn, you yeah. gotta. <laughs> they're and, gonna ultra strike your portal. Like, right. And, and speaking of uh, mon- monetizing, you know, Ingress is doing it. So we, we try to do it too. Uh, there's we got the new thing down at the bottom where you get points for just watching the show so it doesn't even cost you anything uh, you, you'll see the little beaker at the bottom with the the teal it's the academy points like shortened is AP so get your AP by watching the show that's all you gotta Whoa. do that's good that's good you like that? the, web- the website is fixed up so we should be less like yeah the scanner it shouldn't go offline and do weird things yeah so during the holidays i had a chance to go in and add in a a fix that should uh catch whatever bug is happening that uh messes up the links so hopefully it'll take care of that and that's about all i think the week of so let's talk about some some topics uh well speaking of topics of discussion Niantic opened their official Telegram channel and and it took off like wildfire Um, within the first 24 hours they had like 12,000 not 1200 12,000 subscribers I dropped a zero when I put it in earlier Uh, (laughs) it's okay we found it (laughs) that's the little thing fixed it so um there's an address. I'm sure we will put that in, in the show notes. But uh, so they they released stuff. It didn't look like they've released a lot of stuff, but what they did release was all good stuff. Not much fluff there. Uh, so we'll yeah, have some so far, that. Yeah, just the one Intel map maintenance post, which they also did share to the forums. But the the whole thing behind the Telegram channel was, you know, Vanguard's. We kind of asked Niantic and said, hey engaging the users where they are so so going out to the the platforms that the agents are on Mm -hmm. should help spread some of this information because whether you're using the forms or not i think a decent amount of people would agree that it is a different style of communication than what google plus was and meant to be a replacement it's it's not quite hitting the level of engagement that niantic is hoping for so are this telegram channel Mm -hmm. Are they thinking sure. of uh, doing others as well? Maybe getting something into Slack or uh, Discord or something like that? Or are they just going to, you know, we're going to start with this one and do it well? You know? I, I think just getting more communication out there in general is, is sort of the goal. Like knowing when to just give the agents a heads up on things. And hopefully this is, you know, this is a positive step in my opinion. Uh, I know there's been a couple of cries of like, too little too late in terms of the telegram setup but honestly i think we should be like championing the fact that we approached niantic and said hey we'd really love it if you would communicate to us on on another platform and telegram is one of those platforms and they listened stood it up now we have it hopefully we'll get some more news posted there soon and and it's smart because telegram is a mobile first app for messaging whereas the community, even Google Plus, really wasn't mobile first. It was better than some, I guess. Uh, but this is like the perfect avenue for a, a company that makes games for a phone. So I say continue down that route. It's a good one. Yeah. I I agree. I mean, there's a... I'm sure that people use a lot of different channels and things like that, Discord, Slack, that kind of stuff. But, you know... I think it was a good choice to start with. And, you know, it kind of started back when Andrew Krug made his Telegram channel, right? And yeah. he's he's now gone. So I'll raise a solo cup in his honor if you have one. 
and he's he has started his new new job. Don't know what it is, but hope hope he's doing well. And I was getting worried about you. <coughs> nice, thank you, anonymous. <laughs> what are you worried about? Uh, nothing. Probably oh. you. Yeah, probably. I'm not right. But I see a note in here that he's going to Munich. Is this true? Is this potentially? Now, see if you're up to date on the the massive backlog that is the IUNG discussions channel. So one of the Ingress Update news tickers has a discussion channel that is XFAC. Uh, Andrew's been in there talking a little bit since uh, his departure, and he he's kind of hinting that he might be in Munich. So if he's putting it out there in public, I'm I'm thinking, you know, what the heck? We can put it out there in public as well. So I don't know. Maybe yeah. if you want one last hurrah, see Andrew. That would be the place to do it. I noticed he did say that, you know, he's he doesn't know what they're going to do for a global manager, but he's going to keep playing. And he did hint that when he hits 16, he might revert. He might go blue. He might become resistance after he recurses. I'm all for it, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm he's out. still that's right. I'm used hashtag to it. forever 15, though, so might yeah, need to work true. on that one first. But, no, we're glad we're glad he's out there playing. Uh, I, I would love to see him in the field. Um, it'd be kind of weird because you know he's just going to get mobbed if he shows up at anything. But uh, so, uh, he's a great guy. It'll, it'll be It'll be great to see him. And if he worked to get to where, when he goes to the anomaly, levels during the anomaly, and then whoever wins the anomaly Ooh. decides <laughs> faction. which faction he goes to. I kind of like that idea. Uh-huh. kind of like that idea. I could go for that. They'll have it written into the victory condition. It'll be like, decide the, the fate of Red Solo Cup. Then yep. maybe he'll become a you know a sensitive in the ingress lore. Write him back in. He can't right. escape that way. Right. Maybe he'll be the first red faction player. Oh, a red solo cup faction. Red solo cup. Get it? See I like what I did. It. See what I did there. So speaking of uh, challenges, Umber <laughs> Global Challenge. Uh, you mentioned you finished your badge there vein and uh i finished mine did you get yours dewey i got the middle tier yeah it's a resistance thing what can i say it's kind of rule around here you get you know, all the portals I, I, I drove you i drove him through town he, and mac i will say he was good about it because i'm driving him through town and he's hacking he's like am i going to get you in trouble i'm like no don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> like, is that the epitome <laughs> wind trading of wind trading yeah right like i i did not attack a one i was i was doing it right i was not trying to ingress and drive i was just driving i did go back later and blow stuff up but uh but it, it was all good it was all good i like i was there to talk anyway i appreciated driving around but um i'd, I'd rather talk to you you know yeah and um as a global unit faction resistance and enlightened we hit over 50 million 51.1 million resonators deployed during the course of the challenge big numbers what a bunch of slackers (laughs) like let's let's do 1 billion next time billion what what, we're not in india we can't hit a billion if we're not in india so, in, in refresh my memory, what was the initial goal? 30, uh, 30 million, I believe. Okay. So, we should at least try to double it. Uh, that's, that's, that's a good goal. That's a good goal. And, and this one was a little bit different in that, and we may talk about this a little later, it, it was did not have a negative. If you don't hit it, you don't get or we take away. It was simply, you know, if you hit it, we're going to reward you. And I believe Brian Rose posted somewhere about that that he, he did. He's, he's yes. Yeah. All four kind the of negatives. not having negative aspects. Mm-hmm. More or less, we could get 
more rewards for hitting certain thresholds above whatever the the baseline achievement is. So if it's 30 million for the next thing and we don't exceed it, we won't get punished. We just won't get the potential rewards. And uh, I think that should make a lot of players uh, happier because, yeah, the punishment that was not... Even I was kind of thinking like, ooh, this is this is not the greatest thing. Yeah, it, it kind of discourages agents from going out and playing. It's like, well, mm-hmm. I can take it easy this week mm-hmm. when I'm going to be getting, I don't know, half AP or something weird, and then play hard once all that stuff's lifted. Uh, whereas if you throw in some rewards and just not as much, people will still probably get out there and play more than they would have normally. Uh, I still rather have something hanging over me, but what do I know? <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, we, they did really well on that. Um, the other thing going on was the tessellation. Uh, the what? I, the tessellation. You, you've heard of that, have you not? <laughs> I have. I, I have believe in you. the show, but I do. Oh yeah, I'm probably all. I super believe in you, Tad oh, Cooper. Those, hold on. Oh, oh, audio going. Thanks, thanks, Evil, for playing that and, and sending some. We, we've got a new thing on on the live stream where uh, All viewers these bits. Can use bits to play audio files. Uh, some are longer than the others, so if y'all see that pop up, just no one can hear you at that point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's awesome. Thank you. Well, we did put in our our uh, Telegram uh, a little poll asking about the tessellation, and it looks as though it's pretty evenly split. Um, Just about, no, I want to say, that's 40, 50% or so, saying that they hunt for tesserae, they follow it closer, just a little less than that, saying, I don't care, I don't know what it is, and right in the middle, about 8%, it's like, I have no idea. And so, and now think about that poll audience, right? It's yeah. people who listen to an Ingress podcast. That's true. So, so these are probably the most informed players of players. Yeah, and invested. And yeah. invested players, that's true. Yeah, so it's like, I just imagine... I don't, I don't know why, it's like, I heard about it, and like I'll be honest with you, last week before the FS, like I threw away some media, and I don't even know what they were. Like I, They didn't have faces... <laughs> Because I didn't that's even think why, about the tessellation. Be recycling hexagons. No. <laughs> I mean, that, that's my problem. Is uh, there's nothing there to like even keep you reminded that it's going on, and maybe you should keep an eye out because you have no idea what to keep an eye out for. Yeah, it's pretty complex too. I mean, like with with the other challenges that we've had, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Do this, or we need to get X number score. Yeah. This is. This is, I mean, you got the coding challenges, so that brings in a lot of people with that, and and just the overall game itself is still kind of, you know, I don't know where we're going with this. Well, and don't get me wrong, like I think that's awesome that they're doing that, like the whole tessellation thing, the decoding challenge. I love having all these different options for uh, agents who like a different play style or different things can get involved with it and and do things, uh, I, and maybe the Telegram channel will help publicize yeah. kind of what's going on a little more as well and and get people involved but also i i'd call holidays right now right it's like there's a lot going on yeah. with everything and um so i'm sorry that i i lost the tessellation for us <sighs> okay goonie but no i think you raise a good point like uh the tessellation results they get posted into the forums but i don't I, I, I'm not sure if they get thrown out anywhere else other than maybe like Twitter. Oh. Perfect time to <laughs> fail <laughs> trombone. Did you, what you, did you lose it? What's, what's he looking for? Oh, I dropped something, but I was trying to listen to Vane. Oh. Well, <laughs> I was waiting for the audio because <laughs> I can't hear it, so I'm just like, I think maybe it's going. Oh, yeah, when the thing goes away, it's gone. Okay. That's Perfect. a quick one. It's just a little oh, fail so, yeah, no. Tessellation results. That is definitely Niantic. Please like throw that right on into the, the, the news telegram. Put it in, in front of our faces. I was getting Get worried about you. Looking at that. The and, and this is interesting. 
bits. Eh, thank the you. Bits. Um, and, and you know, the, the, since they've changed the scanner, they now have the ability to put those things on whenever you G -G! start the scanner up. <laughs> That's so awesome. That's Red so solo cool. cup in there. <laughs> You're welcome, man. I have no idea what he said, but whatever it is, you're welcome. Uh, but yeah, you're talking about getting it out there in front of the people. You know, you can put it in that that startup message that you know that you usually see when they tell you what's going on. Kind of, uh, they could post the scores and that kind of stuff. Although doing too much of that, there's especially you get into hexathlons and uh, uh, anomalies. People aren't going to want to wait when they start that scanner up. I need that scanner right now. Yeah. Well, and I think this is a perfect opportunity for uh, Orga for both factions to kind of step in and and almost drive those initiatives about these these different ideas. If mm -hmm. they may play a smaller part in anomalies and portal like fracker, and this is a We're perfect example ah! of, of <laughs> where where they can use their talents and skills to to. Um, further their faction in a, a global situation. Yeah, it, and uh, recently Brian Rose said, you know, that they don't, they're not going to need those uh, POCs for hexathlons and, and for anomalies. And uh, so, yeah, they're kind of backing away from it a little bit and letting the players take a little more responsibility for it. So, yeah, I think you're right there. Well, and and I know, like in the past, like I, I had um, said some things, uh, you know, about like why does Niantic, you know, have them do hotels and stuff like that. And I, I believe it was it was uh, Tomogram um, talked to us and, and um, mentioned, you know, it's like, well, that's not they're not making them do that. That they're doing it because of, of the love of their faction and things yeah. like that. So it's like I I, I kind of stepped back from that, and and that was a a good point that it's like. Well, if we're doing it, like we can't blame Niantic because we could just decide on a hotel and all show up, you know. And and yeah. um, I, I think it it actually shows that uh, we need to support those anomaly POCs and groups even more because of of they're doing it on their own, right? Yeah. Like they're they're yeah. making the decision to to uh, uh, take care of a lot of that and and make uh, help the agents have a, a great time while they're there. So uh, big props to all the, the PSCs on, on both factions out there that uh, the anomalies in, in the past, and I'm sure there'll still be something like that in the future, uh, just wouldn't be the same without that. So thank you. Yeah, amen. I think amen. there are a lot of things that are yet to be unseen, how it's going to play out, because a lot of the behind-the-scenes functionalities of a POC uh, dealing with issues with scanner metals not going out to agents or you know, fixing incorrect names, uh, uh, making sure that the play box for an anomaly is safe, that all of the portals are accessible, that they're named correctly. The, the list goes on and on of some of that communication that was going back and forth. And without having POCs, we do, or without having officially recognized tie-in POCs, I guess should clarify that on a little bit. Uh, a lot of those things are kind of unknown. We don't know how that's going to work. Um, I am happy to say, though, that for the moment, we are definitely trying to just let Niantic know that the players want to assist. Uh-oh, fail trombone, or trumpet. Yeah. No, so we're, we're definitely still voicing concerns over that. So hopefully more can be done on that in the future. Uh, definitely keep an eye on news sources. Maybe we'll get something eventually soon well, and, and that's also uh we'll be waiting to see exactly how the rest of the anomalies shape up because if they kind of do one big anomaly where their boots on the ground involved like like how the POCs would and, and they can kind of take a you know more direct action while they're there and then the other uh flashpoints or whatever the kind of side anomalies are maybe smaller enough almost like hexathlons or something where it, they don't need uh, as many people involved to yeah. set them up and run then it all kind of makes sense and could just 
work in the future. So it'll be an interesting year to see what, what happens. But we got to get back to the tessellation. Do we? We do, because... No, I meant do we scored Day. after round five. It's like Chicago all over again. Enlightened have 44. Nemesis has 44. And out of nowhere, the Resistance have 56. So I, I don't I haven't been keeping that close uh, look at the score, so I don't know how we how resistance got that far. Up. I don't know how any of us got that far. Like last time we talked about this wasn't it was Nemesis like forty four and we were like two yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Like So evident evidently we're getting a lot better at coding quicker and figuring out where things go on the map. Uh, I think that's the big thing. Probably they're figuring out how the map works and and where things go. Um so, and I don't know if new developments are out there or not. Um, I mean, we've got what another coding challenge coming out. I guess it'd be Monday. So there was a, a quick video that uh, from PAC actually that kind of re-explains some of the tessellation directives. So it goes over the rules of the tessellation in a little bit more detail. Um, so that is on the Ingress YouTube channel. I think it also went out as a media. It's it's see. on the Agent Academy website. That's right. That's Ooh, the one you put up, Dewey J. There. Yes. Somebody who was playing with embedding decided to embed it. So. Yeah, but it, it looks. It did also go out as a, a global media at some point. Yeah. So you may or may not have that, but it's just labeled pack test explanation. So if you if you can't go to a website and you have a scanner, <laughs> check your I, scanner I probably right threw it away with the other tessellation. That's part. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You recycled it. You're like, ah, get out of here, hex out. Oh, just yeah. That's where uh, that's where everything went, Goonie. You hacked all of the test array for the enlightened, and then you just you just yep. That's that's went. where those scores went. Sorry, sorry. Maybe that's a new feature they can add in because we're about to get to. God, uh, that may not believe in you, uh, but I do. One. I super believe in you, Tad Cooper. I love okay. that song. Um, but if they added a feature <laughs> where things like the tessellation pieces couldn't be deleted, recycled. And you'd be like, why can't I recycle this? And it would have you like look into it further, right? Like what's going on with this? Maybe in a little message that this is super important or something. Huh? That could be. That could be. <laughs> or just, you know, put on the, go to this website and tell them that you found this. Like, you that know, thing with me is when I found a first couple, like, okay, I'm going to try to put it on there. And it was like, well, where the hell do I go? How do I do this? You know, and, and it kind of forced me to, to learn the community posting system and stuff like that. I will say that, but you know, if, if you're not such a dedicated player, you're like, how do I? Uh, no, I'm not going to mess with it. You know, I'm done. So, but it's those sort of things that kind of return ingress to almost a little bit of its like roots. Yeah. with like secret agent conspiracy type scenario where you don't really always oh. know right away what some of this stuff is and it's yeah. it's going to kind of be part a- of the draw. It's, it's like here's here's a new a new mod we're not going to tell you what it does figure it out well and it's funny because we went through the cycle where there was media and then there was kind of like no media and everybody's like we want more media and then they start piling out media for all these different things which is great but then at the same time start the tessellation thing with with like some media that and you might just get to be like where you're like, oh, it's just more media and just tossing it. Like, I'll go see the website for the portal media. tracker. That makes me a moron, apparently. But that doesn't make you a moron, but we'll go from there. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I Thanks think a lot me. of agents actually do recycle <laughs> all media on contact. I, I know more than a handful of people that are like, media, get out of here. Ah. Yeah, and we go back to Goonie's idea of the media locker so that you can put them all in there and it doesn't count against your inventory. There you go. Good call. <laughs> he had the answer. I and I, I don't normally like delete media in general. I usually keep them, but <laughs> So, I see there's another capsule idea here. Is that I assume Dewey J? Well, if if you want to go to that, we could. I, I'm we haven't done a what's in the capsule down. for like a year. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe we have some listeners who are unaware of what what's in the capsule is all about. 
Do you want me to t- tell him? Is that it's your what's in the capsule? You, you explain the whole idea. I'll explain. I'll explain uh, what I'm uh, I'm thinking of. So we used to do this every episode where we would give out ideas for the game, and we love it when agents send in their own ideas for the game. And for I say the game, I'm talking about you know ingress. ingress. <laughs> so if you have ideas for ingress prime and the scanner and it could be the website it could be events it could be actual gameplay stuff just send it to us we have links on the website uh, you can always send them to us on telegram you can tweet us just get them to us just yep. hashtag it what's in the capsule and maybe it won't get so hoed and, th- and that's a, re- a reference that goes way back to a, a past uh, host that tend to not like most of those ideas, but the idea. Um, friendly fire. A power-up. Sort no. of like a fracker, but not no. doesn't run so long. Um, but it gives you the ability that you can blow bursters, and it'll take out your faction's resonators. So if you wanted to clear a link, uh, instead of having to use that virus, you could uh, throw out some frack some bursters and take that out and maybe take out three or four at the same time but it's really going to have to be watched so you don't throw the balance of the game off so i'd, I'd say it's got to be really rare and it probably doesn't work for very long that's my idea just throwing it out there sounds good what do you think bang no no <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's wrong with that? I think if you're going to do a friendly fire type weapon, it needs to be something that just affects like everything in the environment. So I agree. I agree. Take so, everything you and the bird. So it gets one of these. Like no, Ingress needs WMDs because we can't find them anywhere else. So like, where's the where's the like Ingress nuke XMP? You know, just start finding decrypt the launch codes to the XMP nuke through a decoding challenge and just you Darsana lens a whole city somewhere. <laughs> there you go. Or something that you could have five or six agents throw all their bursters into a big pile and then set them all off at once. Now, yeah. Yeah. I, like, I don't want to Soho. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, so it's just the whole, like troll issue or you know like someone sets up a huge field and people are going to do these things just to knock it you know knock it down and but i don't know like make it really options to kind of counteract that so maybe stuff comes back after a certain time i don't know yeah it could be yeah i i just remember like the time period when flip cards didn't have a cooldown on them so you could just ada and jarvis as long as you had Mm -hmm. ada and jarvis in your inventory and I don't really miss those times. <laughs> right. Same thing with ripping mods off of portals. It'd be like, people yeah. be yelling at you, hey, that common shield, take it off that portal. Put it, I need to put something better on there. Yeah, that's true. And, and so that's, yeah. we've talked about this idea a lot, and I still think they need to do it as where you can upgrade same mod. So you oh, can't like replace it, but you could upgrade a okay. common to rare to. Very need more mods. More mods. Still waiting on that common link amp. Still waiting. <laughs> it's on the back of the mod card. You read the text on the back of the mod card. It's like variants include common, rare, very rare. I'm like, where are the common link amps? They're just link amps. Well, I'm sticking with it. I don't care what you guys say. But That's okay. Well, let let the the agents listening. Let us know what you think about the idea. Right. Leave a comment somewhere. Uh, or I'll make message. another poll. I'll put another poll out. We'll see what they think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, also, big big things going on on the map. That's yep. that was a mouthful. Sorry. On the Intel map, there's they're upgrading it. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you're upgrading or overhauling. Uh, and I know that was it two weeks ago, a while back, it was not good for a while. It was not loading or loading some portals and not others and you're getting 504 errors and and that kind of stuff and they i think they realize they're still getting that Um, Hmm. but it sounds like they're doing some work they said that for the 
couple of weeks from January 7th to the 17th. They're going to be working on the uh, Intel map with some updates. And so if you don't want to be bothered by that, then make sure you're not playing from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Because that's when they're going to be doing that work. Mm -hmm. So if you're playing in the middle of the night, it shouldn't bother you, evidently. Um, but they said if, if you get any unexpected bug-like behavior, apart from the 502 error, uh, which is it just can't read it, um, reply to the thread on, of course, the Niantic TG channel. So that's kind of one of the first things that they're trying to get that information back into from the agents. Yeah, and please definitely go go onto the forum and can and complain about Intel map issues. Like, well, not so much complain, but give the feedback. Like, yeah. if you are experiencing issues, don't just be silent about it. Go use the forum. Constructive know, feedback. Yeah, yeah, constructive feedback. Yeah, constructive underline, constructive feedback. <laughs> don't be no, angry. Not, it sounds like Dewey J just doesn't want us to feel during that time frame. Is yeah, what I'm hearing. I, I gotta say, Arctic <laughs> Rebels and Ingress can be played at times other than the middle of the night with a question mark. So it does sound like somebody else uh, does play in the middle of the night as well. I'm not the only one. And you've probably have seen that. I mean, you, we kind of see that with the agents around here that they when they first start playing, they're a little timid, and then they get the fire, and that's when you do stupid shit like you drive two hours at two a.m. to take out one portal. Or drive six hours to go to uh, first Saturday in the middle of an Arctic zone. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> only a weirdo would do that. Only a weirdo would do, only, only a would do that. Visit as many churches as you possibly can. It's not even a Sunday. Yeah. Just be like, I've just been to church so much this last week. I don't know where time's gone. Yeah, you have to explain to people why you're sitting in a cemetery for two hours. Oh, I'm playing Pokemon Go. Oh, Pokemon Go. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Is that... Oh wow! It's still I tried using that excuse with the police. Like I think it was a little over a year ago. Now it was kind of like it was just in a parking lot somewhere, <laughs> hacking some hacking some portals. And it wasn't even like a park. It was just like local. I don't know, like a shopping center or something. And police car rolls up. It's like, what are you doing there? I'm like, Pokemon Go. And it's like, Pokemon, get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> Did he really say that? You had to go out. Pretty much something along those lines. Like, no, it's. Well, I don't know if I ever told you guys about my uh, ingress camouflage. Mm. So if I, if, I, if I don't want people to know that I'm playing ingress, I actually have a uh, geocache shirt. So I wear this geocache shirt. That way I can wander around and people are like, oh, okay, he's just geocaching. Leave him alone. That sounds good. Yeah, it's all right. I think we should all just get, like, white trucks and put stenciled numbers on the side and maybe, like, utilities for whatever city you're in. Just get a real looking November Lima, like, yeah, free XM cool. spray painted on the side. You need a couple. You need a couple of clipboards and a hard hat. You know, you walk around with a clipboard and a hard hat. They're like, uh, he must be working. Leave him alone. <laughs> Just says tax adjuster on the side. They're like, okay, that's right. No one will talk to you. <laughs> no one. Everyone will leave you alone. Oh, uh, not to not to sidetrack too much, but I do see some commentary in our our stream chat. Uh, I'm probably going to butcher that name, but at uh, a at a Boris, they're asking a couple of questions there regarding. You know, Ingress, uh, can we expect to see, will there be daily, weekly challenges? And I don't think we've got a direct answer to that question, but I do think it is a good question. Um, I know for the remainder of the Nemesis sequence, there are going to be more challenges. We don't know what they are yet, but we can expect at least a handful more uh, global challenges before the end of the series in May. So take that as you will. And I also uh, agree with him. He's talking about com seems to be kind of screwy the latest action every five or ten seconds yeah it, it's it's com is different in prime than it was in redacted and I, it, it seems like i don't know whether it's going to show up in faction chat or is it going to show up in you know someplace else so that's it's kind of weird but I, I think i'll get used to it eventually yeah like depending on if it's if it's an ad it'll be an alerts and yeah 
And if it's cross faction, if it's the other faction from you, it'll be a cross faction, right? And if it's your own faction, so it's not like the old days where you had to like make sure you were on the faction tab to send just a message to faction. Yeah, and in case you don't know, comms are not really secure. You know, although it it kind of tells you, comms are not comms are secure. What? Except for the green, the green is secure for resistance. It's it's not secure. Oh. At least uh, we've we've got some good advice in the stream chat from uh, Red Solo Cup. I think it's how he's managed to stay out of you know police attention throughout all of his ingress career. He's yeah. just saying, steal a police car, uh, you get some free donuts, maybe some hot coffee to go along with that, and they won't know. They just won't know. <laughs> free the donuts. Free the donuts. I, I would just be handing him a empty box. Unfortunately, if I was driving around with donuts, is the only problem. <laughs> Maybe some IOUs coupons. I owe use in the box. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of the challenges that you are mentioning, we'll have thirteen total, I guess at least, right? Because there, Brian Rose was talking about the colors from the the medals. Yeah, that there's going to be thirteen chapters in Nemesis medals. Yeah, and it, I think that there were some agents that kind of had some issues with the color spectrum that's being used. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Is is it because because it's too blue? I, I really don't know. Oh, so so like the whole scheme of the Nemesis sequence is that it's kind of the the rainbow hue, and there are some lower reasons behind that. So there's some very complicated reasonings behind that that I'm not gonna yeah. I'm not gonna bore bore everybody in the stream with with that. But uh, needless to say, if you look if you look at the existing three medals that we have so far. If you were to put them side by side, they do kind of gradually shift through the color spectrum. So, I think probably the next metal we get might end up being almost kind of like a yellowish, and we might start sliding into like a green color okay. and a metal or two. Um, and I don't think we'll quite have thirteen challenges because we're already on. Uh, I think chapter seven was just the recent like mission day at sea tie-in. Um, okay. So yeah, I think we've got a couple more coming, um, but I don't think it's going to equal quite thirteen there because we we've already gone over quite a few. Yep. And Brian Rose said that they're going to be more um, mindful about what colors they use for the next series following Nemesis, which is good news because I, what I'm hearing is that there's going to be something after Nemesis. Uh, so, if if we win. Yeah. Well, well, that's true. It could be getting back at Nemesis. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and and to kind of keep some of that in in perspective, like when they come up with this idea for these badges, it's not like they do one event and a badge, and then the next event and a badge, or the next badge, whether it's an event or whatever it's for. They're all designed as a cohesive unit, so it's not like they can just go, well, uh, they're upset about the color, so let's change the rest of them. Yeah, they've got it all It'll just all look crap, so... Uh, I, I don't know. I think it's also, you know, there everybody has different tastes and mm-hmm. you know, something new, something different is always cool. Well, maybe not always, but I think something borrowed something. But uh yeah, I I it, it's that idea that's that that long term play that's different with this game than some other ones. I mean you you're you're looking at a whole year or two in some cases to come to a culmination right so well and you mentioned there was uh one that happened during mission day at sea yep and yes I, yeah so i was looking at actually, day actually look at the banner real quick to before i mess up which chapter we're currently oh. on oh it's okay i was just segueing so mission day at sea you know there's a second one coming up there is. And uh, Deo Steph is, is doing this one again, and hopefully she will be on the show to give us more information about it. We're going to try to have her on next week. I be- did we say Thursday? We I'll have to look again. But, uh, we it it will be a little bit later, I think, half an hour later. Well, yeah. I guess this one we ran a little bit later anyway. Sorry, that's my fault. Uh, so 10 minutes later than this week, uh, something like that. That's all right. Uh, we, we expect it from a frog. 
but but we haven't been able to go like, hey, we're going to do a show in a week in a long time. So this will be great. And we'll have a special guest and we'll learn a lot more about what you can expect at Mission Date C, what happened at the first one, what's planned for the next one. Uh, all the information we can get, we will get it directly from the llama's mouth. Sounds good to me. I, I was honestly looking at it and then I looked at where it started from and it's like, oh, they're sailing out of Puerto Rico. Yeah, that makes it a little more tough. Just take a so boat. I'd like to donate to the Get Dewey to Puerto Rico Fund. <laughs> that's that's kind of my biggest hurdle as well. Like I'm looking at it, and I'm like, we don't we don't know what the second half of the year schedule is going to be, and I like I really want to go for the cruise because I missed out on the first one, but I just I don't know yet. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough, especially with I'm already looking at Munich. So if anyone out there is is going to the Munich anomaly, I should be there. Hopefully, you should see me there. I, I don't think I'll be going. <sighs> no. And, but I'm, am I reading it right in saying that they're going to have off-premise events for that one? I don't know. What, what do you mean? Well, that you can, not not a recharge room per se, but it seems like they're hinting that you'll be able to take part of it, part of the action, but not actually be. Oh, for Munich, for the anomaly. Sorry, I thought we were mission date no, C, but for Munich, I you, you could swim after the boat if you want. At one point, <laughs> there was mention of getting other people involved and how it was worded. And back then, I just remember thinking it sounded like there was going to be like some kind of global event challenges or something similar going on where agents can participate in that. That it goes towards the anomaly, but that's complete conjecture and. Yeah. Uh, maybe Vane's read something somewhere. It's me inside. Yeah. <laughs> inside. <laughs> oh, no. Non disclosure act. Hold on. I've got the tape. <laughs> <laughs> I told him it's I wouldn't fine. tell. You know, it's purple it's for blue. prime there. It's, it's, it's the prime NDA tape. It's just. Okay, okay hold on. I just got to, like. Mm. It's tape face. Did you, did you see tape face? <laughs> it's so funny. Well, I think we're at the end of another amazing show. If I do say so myself, maybe it wasn't that we're amazing, show but it anyway. is the end. So I'm right about that part. We do have a code. I will forewarn you. This code will not be active until the episode goes live. Oh, JBJ. <laughs> that was pretty good time. Because we knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, thanks, Arctic. GG! <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks, Andrew. And thanks, everyone, for showing up to the show. Uh, please send in all your, your comments, your concerns, and any of your ideas for what's in the cast. I was getting worried about you. And Ooh. if you have comments on the audio extras or maybe you want some other extras in there let us know as well and uh hopefully we can make the show fun GG! every time let's see what we need is like the resonator deployed sound smash sound burster sound like just the whole i was getting like, worried about you link established field established excellent work <laughs> so do you think it's uh m make make each one more bits to play them <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, what are you doing with all these bits? Where do the bits go? Uh, they Rest just below, go into a portal track. Um, clip. Uh, uh, have you, have you guys, did you guys look at the chat here? I, I can't see it. It's really small oh, on my screen. There, there is a, a, a person in the chat named Agent. Red God, that may not believe in you, but I do. Um, I super said, believe in you, Tad Cooper. When I left, think connected cells from the old days. It's so funny because you start saying that, and right when you got to the super juicy part, the audio went over it. <laughs> <laughs> he probably did that on purpose. <laughs> well, you'll just have to go into the chat and read it for yourself. That's right. And with that, y'all have a great week. We'll see y'all next week. 
Bye bye. Bye now. Yeah, oh, you we didn't give a code. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you that's didn't a, give that's okay. We're, I'm still recording, so okay. that they have to wait. So the code. <laughs> that's funny. The code <laughs> is AA twenty twenty AA. And so just put that on the website, which, hey, now you can't do it unless you listen to the show or watched it. Uh, we'll put it in the chat. 